This is an interesting little document that is in the New York Historical Society, the first five years of the Lucy Stone League, and it's by Ruth Hale, the president of the League. It's interesting, the other name mentioned here is Jane Grant, who was a good friend of Ruth Hale and a co-founder. The Lucy Stone League was founded by these two women, and they got some friends to join in the early 20s, because both of them were career women, they were both journalists, they were both married, and both of them wanted to keep their own names, their birth names, not be, well, in Ruth Hale's case, not be Mrs. Haywood Brune. Although Haywood Brune, who was a columnist and quite well known, and some people may have thought it would be an advantage to her to be known as Mrs. Haywood Brune, but she wanted to be Ruth Hale. So they founded a group and honored a, a predecessor, Lucy Stone, mm -hmm. who, when she married in 1855, kept her own name. She married Henry Blackwell. He was completely in favor of what she wanted to do. They were both what we would today call feminists, were for equal rights for women. They were abolitionists. They were suffragists. And so in the marriage ceremony, he abjured certain rights that husbands had by law over wives. and said, they both said they were going to be treating each other equally, and she was keeping her own name. So they knew that. Hale and Grant knew that and founded this league with her name. And most of the space is taken up with a critique of marriage and the ways in which they would like to reform marriage and enable women to retain their individuality mm. rather than, as in the ancient practice, a woman a woman was actually absorbed into her husband's legal identity, and that's why Jane Doe became Mrs. Mrs. Robert Smith. Right. And they were completely rejecting that. She gives quite a bit of history of the common law of marriage and the absorption of the wife mm -hmm. and how much they oppose it. Uh, so <laughs> they conclude by saying, the aims of the Lucy Stone League must perforce be modest. And I think that all they really wanted to do was keep their own names in, in this league. But of course, that's important. And of, yes. we see even through the 1960s and 70s how important it is. So that a woman whose credit cards, for example, are in her husband's name as Mrs. Robert Smith, if she and he divorce each other, mm. She doesn't have a name to she, establish her own credit. Yes. So keeping one's own name and oh, one's credit is yes. important. And it's not a, a settled thing by any means now. There's a no. lot of controversy over what names a married couple will keep and a lot of diversity. Right. So this, this league was active in the 20s and then petered out to some extent and Actually, Ruth Hale died at a young age. She died in the 30s. But then Jane Grant revived it in the 1950s, and it had another little period of mm. life and um, advocacy in the 50s. So it's great that this and little document course, exists. Yeah. Everybody joined in the 70s, or Lots many, of many professional right. women kept their own yes. names.